300 electoral votes have bought Donald Trump another four years in office, a sweeping victory, and he says the work is far from over. I will not rest until we have delivered the strong, safe and prosperous America that our children deserve and that you deserve. This will truly be the golden age of America. That's what we have to have. His supporters say they are optimistic for the immediate changes for the better. He's going to lower the prices and make it more affordable for people to have a living and, and put money in the bank. As far as the immigration, we don't know who's in this country. There's people that have been in this country, and I'm sure there's other people that have been in this country 10, 20, 15 years or whatever, that can't get their legal status because the, the system is so bogged down with people that have come across the border and they give them everything. A short distance away at Howard University, Kamala Harris took to the stage at her alma mater to deliver an impassioned concession speech. While I concede this election, I do not concede the fight that fueled this campaign. The fight, the fight for freedom, for opportunity, for fairness, and the dignity of all people. A fight for the ideals at the heart of our nation, the ideals that reflect America at our best. That is a fight I will never give up. Despite her defiance, the deflation amongst the students on the campus is undeniable. If I'm being quite frank, I don't feel hopeful. Um, I feel pretty defeated, to say the least. It was very unexpected. I didn't expect it at all. They didn't want to vote for her, so they, they voted for Trump. And I found it very disappointing. I'm very heartbroken. I don't know how long I'll feel this way. I'll honestly probably feel this way for about four years, but who's to say? I think that Vice President Harris has always been the epitome of what someone running for office should look like and what they should represent in our country. And I'm just so grateful that she chose the Mecca, Howard University, to uh, convey this message. Back on the grounds of the president's official residence, preparations are already underway for a new, albeit familiar name. The road to the White House comes with twists and turns, but inevitably there's history on every corner. The next occupant will be Donald Trump in a presidency he says will put America first for the second time. Alifemi Akinsoya, Arise News, Washington, D.C.